this is an ordinary ski area, but watch how these kids are slaying closely. That's right, they are slaying up the slope. If you look at this magical sledding slope from the side, you will see the dents and the stairs are all fake. But from a certain point of view, our brains assume that it is real. This is an optical illusion created in three dimensions. You probably know optical illusions like the Penrose Stairs by Escher. Most people may think that these optical illusions come from the hard work of artists. But nowadays, there's a professor researching optical illusions in a mathematical way. And this man uses numbers to create as many optical illusions as he likes. I found that some of the pictures being possible objects can be realized as a three-dimensional object by solving equations. And so there are infinitely many ways to reconstruct three-dimensional object from a picture. Sugihara Sensei has been nominated for and won International Optical Illusion Contests several times. Have you seen this mind-blowing video that went viral? No, it is not sorcery nor black magic. Optical illusions have been a subject only studied by cognitive psychologists. But Professor Sugihara has presented new approaches to this field using math. He found that some impossible 2D objects were actually possible to recreate in three dimensions by solving equations. Our planes like left angular shapes very much. And all of my impossible object illusions is based on this psychological nature. Now, let us just enjoy each generation of his work. Be ready to get your mind blown away. Wow, now we know that our brain can't always be trusted. Speaking of brains, Professor Sugihara says, In the sense the optical illusion cannot be removed from our brains, but it's a very interesting and mysterious nature of our brain. Back to the magical sledding slope that he created. Interestingly, even after we understand the trick behind this object, we still see the illusions when we go back to that certain point of view. This kind of research is not only interesting, but also important in our daily life. As a matter of fact, we are surrounded by optical illusions and even use them in our daily lives. For instance, putting on makeup is one good example of how we use optical illusions. Applying false lashes, lip gloss, or highlights can make your eyes pop, lips look sexy, or enhance your facial features. It's the same thing with how you dress. You can make yourself taller or skinnier with the shapes or patterns of your outfits. And of course, there's your perfect angle when you take a selfie. It may be hard to notice, but we use these magic tricks called optical illusions every day. So optical illusion can make our lives happier. Always advance, Meiji University.